hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the fifth module of oop concepts and before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because your support helps me make more videos like this so mainly what you need to know is j label uh, j text field j button and j combo class in this there are uh, third party apps like the applets and the swings so you need to know the difference between what is applets and the swings what are its key features what is the uh, event delegation model and explain the event classes and event listeners all these concepts are explained in depth even the programs are also present but make sure you know the theory first because without knowing theory how you can attempt the uh, exam means the programs right so first you need to know the theory very well these are the super important repeated uh, concepts two features of swing what is the two features of swing why it is um, why swing is implemented what it does what is its purpose where where it is applied and um, what is the syntax of it for implementing what are the different subcategories you can use inside it what are the uh, modules inside it all those key concepts i dis uh, discussed in my theory video a to z whatever you want uh, means uh, you, whatever you are supposed to write an exam which can fit your marks all those things are, are discussed in that video you can watch that keeping in mind these important questions then we have compare awt and uh, swings how it is different what is its advantage and disadvantage comparatively in which context it is used that all the things you have to mention here <clears throat> delegation event model this contains two things key models as well as the mouse models what is key event and mouse event and how can you implement it when all it is used what are the different attributes of it that you have to mention in the question four then lastly we have to explain the event classes and event listeners what are the different event classes uh, event classes present how do you handle those events by using event listeners so how do we uh, write the code for the event listeners how do you set uh, set it up how do you assign an action to it and uh, when it does an action how do you um handle the output right those are the key points in these two topics so make sure you know each of these concepts very well make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one